Hello, good afternoon. This is Emmanuel speaking. How can I assist you today? Hello, I'm calling you because I got a lot of my order last week from your store and the cheat wagon got skunked out. I need a refund effective immediately. I know, I know it was my bad. You shouldn't have bought a side and seen because it was like buying a pig in a poke. Shoot, it was so idiotic and cut tight on me not taking the time to choose wisely. Well, sir, may I have your name so we can fix this issue once and for all? My name is Joshua Calvo. Okay, hold on while I find it on fire. Okay, good. Great, so can I have your receipt number so I can track it on file and process your request? Okay, first off, I don't want anything but my dog back. Damn, I showed my wife thinking it'd be worthy. But anyway, hang on while I fish the receipt out of my pocket. I got it right here. And where the hell I left the receipt, huh? There might be goblins in my head hiding my shit from me again. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. I've tried to put it away somewhere in my shed while sliding the lawnmower we're in. Okay, let me go for it. Sure. Ah, fuck! Look at this grass. I call it quits. The fucking lawnmower doesn't work. Okay, bro, I just found it. Mm hmm, it's HPN 51234. Thanks, sir. For our system data, I won't be able to refund you any funds. The only thing I can do is to submit a formal request to our nearest store for replacing the lone mower as expeditiously as possible, since it is still being covered by the warranty. I'm sorry for the inconvenience you've gone through. Bro, I don't give a who about your system data. What I'm asking for is a refund since you tagged this product under the payback method. A replacement is a horse of a different color. Mr. Calvo, I don't want to cast as purges on your honesty. I'm merely acting within my field of competence. But wouldn't you reconsider to accept the replacement in lieu of the refund, sir? No, when I said no, it's for keeps. Like I didn't know how your company works. You're gonna send me another cheap wagon that you have refurbished. Sir, I can assure you that the replacement you are going to receive will be a brand new Len Mauer wrapped in plastic with a seal on the security strip. I don't fucking care. See, I got a bound, but I'm gonna call you later because this isn't over by a long shot. Hey, what up, guys? This is Jordan from a guy, Joshua from Hyperner School or from HPN to be precise. As always, we're here in order to explain the most important vocabulary of this video. As always, since usual, Emmanuel is good. He's about to break down the most important vocabulary that we have compiled. But what the hell is this guy? Emma! Hey, I'm over here! Bro, I need Hello, you guys. I was missing in action. I do apologize for that. <laughs> so, I'm going to explain the vocabulary as Joshua just mentioned. So, let's get started. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Because I really feel glad about being here. Okay, that's good. Which one is it? The first one, you know. Shit wagon. Shit wagon. Guys, the shit word wagon. or the expression shit wagon means when a product is useless or worthless, let's say a product that is old oh. or you don't want it, or a discarded product. A piece of garbage. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To get conked out. To get conked out is when a product starts malfunctioning or when a product breaks down or a product cracks off. Okay, to buy something inside and see. To buy something inside and see is when you go to a store, you mm -hmm. grab a product, you pay for it, you go home. In other words, you don't check it out. You don't see what you were buying. You buy something blindfolded. Hi, bro. To buy something like, you know, buying a pig in a poke. Pig in a poke is when you purchase a worthless product or a product that you will not make use of. Cocktail. Oh, cocktail. That mm -hmm. means foolish, idiotic, or stupid. Okay. Mm, when I say here, I showed my what thinking. I should. How would you wad. describe that? Okay, I showed my what means to run out of money or when you spend every single cent that you have in your pocket while or after purchasing a brand new product or whichever product that you acquire or pick up. Okay. What about the first verb to fish out? To fish out is when you take something out of somewhere. Okay. When what about... Okay. Yeah, when something is inside a place and you take it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about the first verb to slide in? To slide in is when you put something in or inside a place mm -hmm. or when you take it in. As expeditiously as possible. Uh, that means as soon as possible or as quickly as possible. I don't give a hoot. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't give a rat's ass or I couldn't care less or I don't give a 
F word and say <laughs> Oh, I like this one. It's a horse of a different color. Ah, okay, that expression. That is an idiom, by the way. Mm -hmm. It means, well, when something doesn't have to do with the things that you were talking about. Something different, totally different. Mm -hmm. To cast that expression sound. Oh, that means to doubt someone's abilities or to doubt somebody. To question something. To question or someone. Let's say I cast this purchase on you, mm -hmm. I'm doubting your abilities. Mm -hmm. I think you are a lame person. Yeah. <laughs> you know the word. No, I'm kidding, guys. He's a very wonderful guy. Oh. In lieu of. In lieu of means rather than or instead of. By the way, this is a this is rather formal, this expression. Very, very formal. This is very formal. We can use that expression for, I don't know, politics or attorneys use this word mm -hmm. or politicians. Yeah. To write an email. Correct. Or a okay. letter. For kids. For kids means forever. Forever. Let's say you say to your boyfriend or girlfriend, honey, I love you for kids. It means I love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, this this verb is kind of, you know, difficult sometimes because it has a lot of meanings. Refurbish. Refurbish in this case means to, um, let's say, make some arrangements on a discarded product. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you want to sell a product, the product is broken, you repair it, and you put it up for sale as soon as you have refurbished it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this version. I gotta bounce. I gotta bounce means I gotta leave, I gotta go, I gotta bail, mm -hmm. I gotta take off. Sure. This isn't over by a long shot. Oh, that means this hasn't stopped here. By a long shot, in other words, means at all. Let's say, I don't like you at all. I can say I don't like you by a long shot. So it means at all. So that was it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I'm always very proud of your support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Drop us a comment. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us and we'll be more than glad to answer any question for you. And we'll be back soon with another exclusive video. Catch, Catch you later. later.